I've demonstrated in Inkscape how to use the line draw function to improve uh, pictures within Sparkle Video Scribe system. This time I'm going to show you how it's possible to do a much quicker picture uh, using the paint bucket system and get a very good result. So we're going to file, again I'm going to import a picture and I've got a number of pictures here to which I've used before and I'm just going to take these safety boots here and use them. Uh, now this is pretty good for mostly black and white photos but w once you learn what you're doing you can probably improve. Now he imported the picture uh, I'm going to go to the object path fill and stroke uh, and bring up the fill and stroke screen and basically I'm going to one give this a, a lot higher opacity so that when I use the paint bucket I'll be able to see the lines a lot clearer now the next thing I'm going to do is take the circle tool and I'm going to create a circle. Uh, you'll notice that the circle has a black uh, stroke line around it and that uh, is by default what I want to use uh, to give the effect in sparkle and the fill is white. Uh, if I go to fill here because it's selected and transparent the fill is now transparent. So you have an option here to fill it or not fill it I'm going to leave it as transparent so I can demonstrate this a bit better than I do. If we go back to the stroke size, we'll notice that the stroke is black and the stroke size is actually 2, which is a good size to demonstrate the capabilities of um, Sparkle Video Scribe. Now, on the tools on the left, I'm going to double click on the paint bucket and bring up its, its preferences. Now, because it's selected, I'm going to use that as default for what I want my uh, picture to be filled with. I'm going to use the tool zone style and take from selection. So you'll notice that it's filled is none and the stroke is two. So let's just see how we go with uh, filling these boots now using the paint bucket. So I'm going to pick a spot on the picture which in reality uh, might do the whole drawing in one sit. So let's have a look and see how we go. As you can see uh, it really did do it and it also uh, put a line around the outside. Now, uh, I think that's pretty well done. If I uh, go to Selection Tool, uh, select the circle and delete that. I'll close this window and what I'm going to do is get rid of the opacity there and bring it back to its normal picture. So we've got that and I'm now going to save this result. Now I've saved the right result to which I'll bring into Video Scribe and we'll see how it went. So we're going to video scribe, we're going to, uh, I've already got it open on mine, I'll just refresh that. So we've got the latest, we'll select the boots again, and I'm going to use image. And there's the image there that we've just completed, and what we'll do is we'll see how well it went. As you can see from that, that picture's not too bad using video scribe. So what we'll do now is we'll just bring in the original picture, uh, which was under projects under shop art, under safety stuff, changeover, and we were using the safety boots, use image, and you can see now we've got the video scribe system here, and we'll bring that in, and what we'll do is we'll see how well the two look together. So this is the one done in Inkscape. Now this is the one done in VideoScribe. As you can see, the Inkscape uh, outcome was a little bit more definitive than the VideoScribe. So it's up to you as to whether that is really what you want. But it is a quick way of improving the outcome of your graphics. To show you uh, more clarity in this particular thing, here's a couple of more drawings, one dra done in Inkscape uh, in the same medium and another, the other one done in VideoScribe. Um, and I'll finally uh, I'll show you one last drawing uh, to show the difference in the presentation technique. Okay, I think the point to this whole exercise was to show you that there is a different way of doing it that is reasonably quick you know, whilst the import into Video Scribe is quick, 
um, the outcome using this method in Inkscape is a lot more professional and not too long to do.